singer, songwriter Jessica Carter Altman will take the stage tonight at Carol Place showcasing some of her newest music like Aftermath. Listen. I can run from it. I can stand at the edge staring dumbfounded. I can scream, I can cry, but I can't get it back. What do you do in the aftermath? And this morning she joins us now with a little preview of her upcoming performances. Welcome back, Jessica. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you for having me. All right, great to have you here working on a new EP, right? So what are the deets yep. on it? When is it going to be released? It is going to be released on May 3rd. Two of the singles that are going to be on it have already been released. Bad Energy, which came out in February, okay. and Fake It, which came out just last week. Okay. And it'll be a four-song EP kind of ramping up to my album, which comes out on June 14th. Exciting. Wow. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> well, you just mentioned Fake It. Yes. Which is was a song inspired by law, was something about law school? Yeah. What is so, that all about? I mean, write what you know. And <laughs> this, the song is more interesting than a law school class might sound to most people. It was, so my first year of law school um, and one of my first classes was a property class. And that professor taught another class at the University of Michi Michigan called Faking It. And it's a legit class. Le legitimate class <laughs> at the oh University gosh, of Michigan. You so can funny. Google it, it'll give you the class description. <laughs> and he would reference, uh, he would reference the class and points he would make in the class. And it was always just really interesting to me, this idea that not, people are not always their authentic selves. Maybe mm -hmm. they want to present differently, they're in a job they hate, and they're having that tension. And I've personally always struggled with imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so that was something that really resonated with me. And especially, you know, leaving the law to pursue music full time, yeah. I felt like a total imposter. I, I had studied law, and here I am leaving to do, to music. pursue music, which is, was my true yeah. passion. And you know, you try to hide those insecurities yeah. that you have. And when I finally started to be honest with people about what I was feeling, it was amazing because so many people, people who I admire and respect in their respective fields, and some of those were even fields of music, felt similarly, right. which was so mind blowing. And yeah. you know, there's this realization that we all feel like an imposter sometimes, yeah. and that's okay. Yeah. And so I wrote this song as the idea that it's, you know, this is deep, dark, dirty secret that we all have. And maybe it's just time that we just let it go let it and there. let it be okay. Yeah, I like that. Thank like you. That. So and, and so that's kind of where you draw the inspiration from, from that other, for that for that song. Yes. Where are you drawing the other inspirations for, for the other songs? My, my life, yeah. stories that have been told to me, mm -hmm. experiences that I've had, thoughts I've had. I just actually was in Nashville writing an album that I'm hoping will maybe come out next year. Okay. Wow. And so it's, you know, just getting it done. Yeah, you've been feeling inspired. There are chapters yeah. of your life. So everything that's coming out are things that I was going through the last few years. And so to start reflecting again and thinking mm -hmm. about, you know, where I am mentally, the journey that I've had in this last year, I just got married. Congratulations. And thank you. So just different chapters of your life. So talking to people and hearing their stories and yeah. finding a way to share it and getting to write with friends is, they are my favorite weeks in Nashville because you're hanging out with your friends and yeah. you're talking about experiences and thoughts that you have mm -hmm. and you get to just create together, yeah. which is so well, cool. What about writing a song with your mom, mm -hmm. Linda <laughs> Carter, who everyone knows is Wonder Woman, yes. uh, but she's also a singer. Any any chances that you guys might write, collaborate? We might. I mean, right now we're kind of following our past. She just has had a couple of releases out. Um, she wrote a song, Letters from Earth, mm. that just came out a few weeks ago, which mm -hmm. is one of my favorites that she's Aww. written. It's really yeah. beautiful, so if you haven't uh, listened, definitely check it out. So right now, I think we're doing our own thing, yeah, but yeah. you know, never say never. I've, I've worked with my mom before, and it's always Sweet. so much fun. Right. It's seeing your parent in that light is really cool because it's a side of them that you don't often get to see yeah. as a child sure. so it's such a privilege mm. let's talk about some of your shows right you got one here tonight yes in New York tonight City. what's the, what are the what are the details here so playing at carol place uh show starts at seven i'm playing with this amazing band does at saint marie so they go on at seven they just got off tour with ario speedwagon and rick oh, springfield cool. yeah. and now are in new york playing with me and uh, so and Matt, the guitar player for Doze at Saint Marie, is also a guitar is my guitar player. So he's going to be nice. on stage the whole time. He's amazing. Nice. And it's going to be an acoustic set, and I haven't done an acoustic Ooh. set in about Ooh, three years. Awesome. So everything that's on the album, we've kind of 
reimagined it in this acoustic setting. And Very cool. some of the songs are, I've been so happy and had so much fun creating this acoustic show that I think we might do an acoustic version of the album as well, like which that. might come out later this nice. year. I like that a yeah. lot. Well, thanks for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. Next it's great to be to, back. Yeah, next time you have to come back and sing. Yeah. I would love it. Yeah, yeah right. I would love yeah. that.